Hey everybody, we're playing some mobile games again. I've been having a, quite a bit of fun with this. So um, today, once again, style of my videos, we're not going to be doing one specific game or really anything. Um, but today we're going to do a little Supercell showcase, right? So we did Pokemon Go a little bit ago. Um, but of course there's Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, and Clash Royale, which are all Supercell games. And I do have, like, I do play all three. So let's go ahead and start with Clash Royale. I am um, level 14. Um, of course, same name. I've got uh, 5,000 trophies currently. Probably just because I don't play. I don't battle too much nowadays. I kind of just try. I really just try to kind of keep up with the clan. Just kind of say hi every once in a while. But um, there is some of my things there. There's a couple of my badges, which I haven't done too much of. That's the deck that I normally use. I, I'm a uh, elite barb disgusting user but with the hog and the firecracker. Um... And then, of course, the Mega Knight. Some Skeletons and Zaps and Fireball. So that, that's one that I usually use. Here are some more stats. 1,600 wins. Mostly three crowns, funny enough. Um, current favorite card is apparently Mega Knight, which is interesting. Um, and I don't do a lot of the challenges, but... Yep, there's kind of my thing. That is, again, this is the deck that I normally use. A couple of maxed out cards, but not all of them just yet. I'm still working on getting some gold for those. Um, so I am in this arena currently, and I think it's training day. Let's go ahead and come over here and donate. Let's get those out of the way. So this is my clan, um, Royal Esports. Um, I am the leader of it. Where am I? So here, I'm the leader. Now, um, just like with Pokemon Go, I, pl I started playing Clash like very early on not not as early on as pokemon go because that one was like two days after i think it was a, a week or two after for clash royale and i made a clan instantly and actually the clan has been very good for the past however many years just recently it's kind of actually a sad story it kind of died a little bit um one co-leader went rogue and kicked the entire clan um so we're kind of rebuilding we're still in the process of rebuilding. Then that was months ago. Um, so that kind of rogue co-leader really screwed things up pretty badly. But um, we still have the OGs. Um, what's really cool about this clan is most people have been here f for years. Like this isn't one of those clans where you get like a constant 50 different people in and out. Um, I can point out uh, some people. So Original Seed was is here for I got most of the people I'm going to mention have been here for three to four plus years. I think like that long, probably some even more. If I remember correctly, this game came out when I was in high school and it, I graduated high school three years ago and it came out in the middle of high school. So three to four plus years. Um, and if I forget anyone, my bad, but, um, Jared Reber has been here for a while. I actually know him real life. Sacri three, four years. Lord Goat has been here for a couple years. Lurky, has been here for, he's, I think, one of the longest ones. Lurky was here uh, for a long time. Uh, Tessella has been here for a while. Uh, Savage McNasty, Errol Blitz, been here for a while. Orvden, very long time. Bionic Elbow, very long time. James, very long time. Uh, Pangea, very long time. I've been here since the beginning, obviously. Uh, Luis has been here for a long time. King Sojin. Um, yeah, and then your mama has been here for a long time so all those people you know three four years have been here um again we're a little low in numbers because a lot of people got kicked um and we're kind of doing bad on wars recently we actually have come in first the last two times three and then we kind of yeah we don't have to talk about that but yeah so for the first couple of years the clan was actually doing very well we were pretty high up in um battle um but then we kind of we stopped trying a little bit a lot most of these people are adults um like me and we don't have time for war you know during school like sometimes don't open this game for weeks so um it's definitely not a competitive clan um pretty chill if any of you guys want to join there's room so just take i uh, try to find it um you're definitely welcome uh i definitely do it i need to do a cleaning of some of these red members though um but i'll do that another day um, but I guess let's just go ahead and do one battle and then we can move on to Boom Beach or Clash Royale. Let me also make sure I'm still recording. Um, okay, let's just do one battle and let's see how it goes. 
Um, okay, level 14 versus me, level another 14. Hopefully I can win this. Again, I'm not too amazing at this game. Definitely not competitive in the slightest. Um, but let's see what I can do here. Is he even here? I don't... Is he playing? He seems to be AFK. So this might just be a free win here. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and just drop stuff then. and Let's just take this easy W for now. That that's very weird. I guess I guess he's just trying to drop in trophies right now. Which hey, yeah, you know, I'll I'm not gonna say no to free trophies. I'll take free trophies any day. Let's go ahead and take that. Bing bong, gimme gimme. Okay, let's do one more battle because that one was that one was not a normal battle. You know, I want to actually um, be able to battle someone. Okay, level thirteen, so got a little bit of an advantage as far as health so the exact same play let's do firecracker off in the beginning Ooh. okay well that's good i can definitely counter that with the elite barbs um pretty nicely there so i think it's going to take some damage but definitely countered that pretty well let's go ahead and drop a hog um oh that's not good i activated his king king castle but we'll get a couple hits off with the hog which is really all i need Got the Valkyrie up for the for these. Okay, let's hope he okay. Um, all right, that's that's not the worst thing that could happen. Okay, put a firecracker down there. Start getting rid of those. I don't want my Valkyrie to take too much. Oh, that was a little bit of a bad placement there, but nothing game ending. Oh, he has elite barbs of his own. That's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a skeleton army here. Skeleton Army is really good against the Elite Barbs. Hmm. I could rush Elite Barbs on the left, right side. Maybe I'll give it a moment. See what he does. So let's do that. I'll let him get one hit off with that. Let's go ahead and do... It's a little bit of a YOLO play. Um, but actually, that worked out because I'm going to be able to get quite a few hits off. We can go ahead and zap these goblins. Zap. That's fine take pretty take a little bit of damage but that hog did absolute work on the other end um i'll let him get that damage off just because wasting the mana just for those couple hits is not gonna be worth it so put ourselves in a pretty good position the right one is pretty low the left one will be manageable later Oop. um okay this is slightly bad i need my e-bar oop yeah it was a little iffy I guess we can put that. We, we need to start getting. We need to get rid of that like now. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna let that go. I'm just kind of walk on by. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the tower. Get my zap ready. Looks like he doesn't have anything for that. So go ahead and take that tower. We go ahead and add that, and then zap. He's probably still gonna take the tower, but that's fine. At least we kind of got rid of things. Okay, and we're definitely still in the lead. Okay, we can put our firecracker in the back, put the Valkyrie there. We could release our hog just to do some damage here. Okay, let's go ahead and put the elite barbs here. Looks like that golem actually, that Valkyrie did a better job than I thought it would. We can go to fireball this, so we don't have to take care of any of that. Ooh, okay, and he used his elite barbs to defend. So that's basically an easy open for the left side. Um, let's go ahead and zap that just so we can take some minuscule damage there. Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and drop hog. That will distract them for quite a little while. Hopefully, ooh, okay, that's not good, but that definitely won't stop us for the long haul. Okay, you know what? Actually, now, now it's time to defend here a little bit. He's going to... Ooh, a little bit of a poor defense. He actually got quite a few hits in there. We might be in a slightly bit of danger now. Okay, do the jump, do the jump, do the jump. <sighs> okay, he didn't get it off. That's fine. He'll still have to defend it. And he won't have anything to defend it with. And there we go. Okay, so there's that battle. Um, definitely not the cleanest. Um, not the cleanest in the slightest, but um still a win we'll take those okay we can move on let's go to clash of clans next 
Um, again, we'll just kind of go through the game. This is kind of what I do on a daily basis. I kind of just, or every other day or every third day basis, kind of open it up, um, take a look around, see what I can upgrade, and basically just play for a minute. But since we're doing a video, I'll, you know, I'll stay a little bit, show you guys around. Um, so level 148, um, no clan on Clash of Clans. I've never, ever, like, really been in a clan. Um, I don't really participate in wars or anything, so just a solo account. Um, once again, um, started playing the game very early on when it came out. I think this was back in middle school for me. So imagine I'm in a, pro a professional co college program now. Started in middle school, so it's been quite a bit. Um, max Town Hall, um, but not. But I can still upgrade my weapon. Um, this is my base, so you guys kind of, if you want to zoom in or take a look around, here's the base. Um, yeah. Level 40 Queen. Level 41 Barbarian, level 19 Warden. Now, before you guys say anything, this is a rushed base. So, um, I was that type of kid who just rushed to Max Town Hall. Um, also, I'm just going to put my phone up here at this point. Um, so, you can see definitely a lot of things are lacking. A lot of the wall the walls are very low level for my Town Hall. Yeah, and then right now I just have all goblins. Just because I just go in for the loot, you know. I just go in. Um, find some loot. Uh, see that that's not good. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll do we'll do a couple of loot battles later. Um, but this is my main town hall, and then of course I do have the secondary town hall, which is a little less developed. Obviously, this came out a little later, and I haven't worked as much about this. But um, right now I'm kind of I'm trying not to rush, but I think I still ended up rushing. I'm kind of just slowly upgrading my traps. Let's go ahead and upgrade a trap, and let's go ahead and boost, and we'll do some attacks with both. Um, let's go ahead and let's do let's do some loot finding on our normal base. See if we can get some good ones. See, this one's actually we can always test it out. How much does one give us here? Oh, that sucks. Okay, how much does one give us? Um, come on, why are you gonna die so quickly? Okay, each one gives about 10k. So honestly not worth it 10k for that many goblins not worth it in the slightest let's go ahead and um get some more goblins going i didn't even realize i didn't have them going here okay let's see if we can find like one really good base that we can absolutely just loot the crap out of this one's not terrible honestly in these types of cases i like dropping a goblin right there let's just go ahead and try to steal as much as we can from this one um, probably waste a lot of goblins. Eh, see, that might have not even been worth it. I got like 100k. But I wasted quite a bit of goblins, so now I have no backup. Alright, come on, just give me, give me, give me one juicer here. Give me one juicer. This is a pretty good juicer here. We could take all of that. Come on. Why do these goblins seem a lot weaker than normal? Go ahead and juice all of these ones. Of course, we're going to take the Dark Elixir if we can. Take those. Alright, come on. Let's, let's take this one and then we could probably end the battle here. Let's just grab a few of those. The set part is he's got an Inferno right there, so that kind of sucks. Um, but that is... How much is that? 300k? Yeah, about 300k. So, um, this is how I kind of do my looting. I don't actually do like full on battles. I kind of just grab some goblins and I run around and uh, kind of grab what I can. And honestly, it's pretty profitable. Like you can get like 300k pretty easily. For See right here. Look at this. I'm going to definitely yoink his gold right here. This should give me quite a bit actually. Uh, about 100k. That's fine. And of course, this method only works if you really don't care about your trophies, which, to be honest, I, I don't really care about my trophies. There's no reason to care. Um, again, I'm not a competitive player. I kind of just... I pop in every couple days and do some upgrades. Okay, this is a pretty good one. Because most of these um, things are filled, so I can definitely steal what he has from them. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these. And of course, I just take the ones on the outside. I don't try to go for the things on the inside. Okay. And I think we're almost done here. And then we could probably move on to the secondary base. Okay, well, how much is left on that one? There we go. Alright, how much should we steal? 
about 300 plus K, both of them, easy as that, which is a couple of goblins and nothing else, no big attack, no big attacks, and it's not even that expensive to train the goblins, so, um, right now I'm kind of just working on upgrading some walls, so we're just go, let's just go ahead and do that, upgrade some walls, bing bong, bing bong, cool, let's go ahead and check on our rewards, okay, let's go to the secondary base. Okay, so let's just do one or two attacks. So this is the base. Um, yeah, the walls definitely need to be upgraded. Most of my defenses are actually, they're not terrible. Level 8 roaster, level 7 giant cannon. Um, yeah, so it could, could be better, but not, not terrible. And lately, I think I have all hogs right now, but I don't usually use all hogs. My normal attack plan is actually with the minions. I think, as far as where I'm at, the minions are pretty overpowered. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think this is going to be a classic case of... Let's just drop some minions here. And we'll kind of run it down from the back. I don't know if we'll be able to 100 star this. Because he has his defenses very close to his um, thing. To his town hall. But we can go ahead and drop some like that. Keep a couple. You know, we can just drop a few in the back here. Try to take care of those couple on the sides here and we should be pretty good as long as we don't get too demolished the problem is that oh, it's a little rough probably because that balloon thingy is going to absolutely shred us to death well we might oh we might actually be able to grab the town hall if we're uh, if that bomb doesn't do that oh no i think it, i think that's a rip yeah, like I said, when the big defenses, when the big air defenses are clustered around the town hall, this tends to happen quite a bit where I get basically everything but the town hall, so. Okay, defeat there. Um, let's go ahead and try again, though. Maybe we can find one that's pretty decent. This one's not terrible. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to use an all-out, just like assault. I think this works better on... Uh, corner bases like this. Go ahead and put a few of these down. Let's go ahead and try to get our uh, machine in there. This one shouldn't be too bad. Uh, once again, unless that balloon absolutely shreds us. Which, I got really unlucky last battle. And it absolutely destroyed it. But uh, Let's get that cooker out of the way. The cooker killed quite a few. but Okay, see that, bal that balloon is once again going to cause us havoc. Now we're going to get this town hall for sure. But... I feel like I'm gonna run out of. We ooh okay. Oh, that balloon's gonna kill so many. That's almost a shame. Um, yeah. I try to take out those balloons very early on if possible, but sometimes it's just not very easy to do. All right, two star. Um, that is a win. So I'll go ahead and take that. He did 72, but he didn't get my town hall. See, this is one of the cases where maybe I will go straight on like this. Let's go ahead and drop a few. Try to get rid of those with the long distance shots as best I can. Try to drop a few there. Again, I'm gonna I need to try to target this thing. Yes, try to target that thing. Please don't let another balloon pop. Okay, but see? Okay, got rid of it early there. Um oh, I probably should have dropped that down here, but that's okay. Not the worst thing on the planet. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that right there, so we're fine. And power it up. This definitely won't be a three star, but might be pretty close, to be honest. Most of the air defenses are actually gone. There's one more down here. If, we get, if the machine can survive long enough to get rid of it, we actually have a pretty decent chance in this. With those. Double cannons, man, they absolutely hit. I don't know, I don't think I'll... That was, that was actually very close, though. I think we'll definitely win this battle, but... Actually, for once, the roaster was our main problem here. Okay, so 74, two-star. Another victory. Let's try to get one more victory, and then we could probably move on here. Um. Okay. Let's drop our guy early. Let's try to get rid of these two. Let's 
go ahead and break that. Let's go ahead and try to break that. Put one there. Bam, bam, bam. We can try to target that balloon very, very quickly. Just get rid of it. There we go. Alright, killed a few of my minions, but not the worst thing on the planet. Okay. So we can definitely two-star this. But I, once again, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're in the position for a three-star. Although we did get rid of the roaster and that, but I think those, though, the the backline air defenses are probably going to shred now. So we'll definitely get another 60s or 70 percent, but it'll probably stop there. But we'll see if it's a victory. I hope it is. Try to juice this, these last couple defenses, get ourselves 68 or 67. Bam. 67, okay. Now let's see. Another victory. Okay. So I have I do have three more victories for the day, but I'm not gonna do them right now. Uh, eight hours, can I gem that? Yeah, let's go ahead and gem that. Level 149. That's cool. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade the gem mine for now. Okay. Well, that is Clash of Clans. Let's go ahead and move on to the last game of today, the Boom Beach. Um, another game. Well, actually, this one I started playing a little after its launch. So this one wasn't right away. But as far as progress, I definitely think my Boom Beach is... Oop, and there is my fiance texting me. Uh, definitely the most advanced out of all of them. So I'll show you guys around level 69. Um, this is my current base. Not 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 super super ideal, um, but it's worked for me as like a farming base. Um, do have max headquarters. Um, most I have a couple of maxed out things. I think my launch my shock launchers are maxed. Some of these rockets are very, very close to max. Um, I, what I usually run is the um, big tanks with the healers. Yep. Um, fully upgraded heroes. All of them are fully upgraded. All of my stuff is max level, every single thing. So I almost always have access gold. These are all my statues. I mostly have resource reward statues um, with a couple of damage, health, and resource production. One of those. Um, I have a couple of things there. Um, I am in a clan. It is my own clan, but this one is very, very empty. Where is my clan? How can I see it? Um, yes. So, not a very good clan, but that's fine. This is my map. Obviously, a full map. I got full crystals. Um, well, really, what I do is I hop on every other day and just clear these villages. I literally just go, you know, boom, boom, boom. I clear them, and then after a while, once I've cleared enough, I upgrade something, and then I leave. Um, Dr. T. I sometimes do the crabs, but um, that's only really when I have the time. But let's look around for some gems, collect those. Of course, we can go out and do the submarine. Can I upgrade anything now? I don't think I can upgrade anything now. People keep texting me. Um... Well, we can go ahead and try to do maybe a single attack, just just for giggles. Who is a low level that I can attack? This is 66. Uh, well, but he has quite a few defenses. Or the prototypes. Oh, 64. Okay, we can take out the 64. This is not too hard to do. Let's go ahead and do 1, 2, 1, 2. That's good. Go ahead and do one more there. One more there. Oop, I did not mean to do whatever I just did there, but that's right, that's not going to end our career here. Okay, I think we can go in. We can go ahead and do that, which will shock. Shock those uh, boom cannons for a little while. And once that shock is gone, I'll go ahead and throw down another shock. And this one should be overall not too bad. Okay, I'll go ahead and shock there. Um, we can go ahead and probably throw down a rocket right there just to get rid of that uh, side damage there. Um, okay, I need that one. I'll go ahead and shock here again. This one needs to go away pretty quickly, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see, how are we doing? We're not doing too bad. We haven't lost anything yet. Um, 
and most of his defenses are gone. But see, this one's very close. Let's go ahead and just shock there, just so we don't lose that one. Go ahead and do that. Hopefully the healers can keep up with it. Alright, let's try to do some... Th rain down some nades, try to get rid of it. We're gonna throw in a shock, just for the giggles. But it looks like this is basically just free money. Take the free money there. Not too bad. We will take those. Victory. Cool. And yeah. Alright, we'll just do one attack for now just because the video is already getting quite long. But there is my day day in the life of mobile gaming. Do some Royale, some Boom Beach, some Clash of Clans, and um Yeah. Alright guys. Um hopefully you guys enjoyed a little video. Um I'm having a little bit of fun with mobile games right now, so you know, I like it. Um thanks for watching.